discuss volume charge distribution. So imagine you have a certain volume in space, the total volume is V, and inside this volume you have charge distributed in any arbitrary way. You could have dense charge here and less dense here, whatever kind of charge distribution inside the volume. The total charge is Q, and imagine you have a very small infinitesimal volume element, small cube, very tiny cube. We can define a row, the charge per unit volume the same way we defined area and line charge, but now we're taking dq by dv, which means that dq for an infinitesimal element of volume is rho times the volume. Now, how would you calculate the total charge in this volume? Well, the same as we did before for the area and the line case, we can approximate if you cut up this volume into a finite number of elements of volume, we can approximate the charge in each element of volume as rho times delta V, but then we get into the same problem that even when you have a finite element of volume, the rho can change from point to point inside the same element. So which rho would you take? You could take, for instance, the value of rho at the center, but that would still be an approximation. So we could say that the total charge inside the volume is approximately the sum of rho times delta V. Rho, you could take rho at the center of each element and then multiply that by the volume. That will give you the charge in one element of volume. Then you go to the next element of volume and you get rho at the center of that element of volume and you multiply by the volume and so on. If you do that, you'll get an approximate value for the total charge. If you want to get the exact value of the total charge, you have to take the limit when delta V goes to zero. In that case, you're guaranteeing that you're going to be using the correct value of rho at every single point in space, because rho can change from point to point. A limit of sums means an integral, and so the total charge in general, the most general formula for it is its integration of rho dV. And rho here can change from point to point in the material, so in general it could be a variable. And this should be a definite integral with proper limits. If it happens that rho is constant, then you can take it outside of the integration. And in that case, you have rho integration of dv. Integration of dv is just the total volume. So only in the limit when rho is constant, you can make a very simplified, much simplified formula that q is equal to rho times the volume. But remember, this is only the case when rho is constant.